What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we are taking car number two down the tail of the dragon. So this is our second time ever out of the dragon. We have the all new GR86. This is going to be a heck of a fun of a heck of a fun of a car to drive. The adrenaline's already flowing. <laughs> Through 318 <laughs> turns, probably one of the best handling cars I would say that we're going to drive today. Yeah. Now I've driven the new GR86 in a manual and I was blown yeah. away with how much better it is than the old FRS and the GT86 and VRZ. This will be my first time behind You've the wheel. I've never been behind the new one. Yeah. Uh, we got the automatic which isn't the worst thing but either way the yeah. handling's going to be nuts. And yeah. this row we just did it in the Nissan Z, hope you saw the previous video. But uh I'm Let's ready. get behind the wheel. Let's go. Let's do it. So that is kind of like half throttle. Yeah. So um, are we in sport mode? I don't know. Can you check to see the modes there? There we go. All right. It got a little bit louder, didn't it? Yeah, a little bit more. All right. So yeah, this is my first time behind the wheel of the GR86. And unfortunately, it's not a manual. And manual may not, ooh, manual may not be your thing. Um, I would definitely want the manual. I know you were in it. Yeah. What do you think of that? I loved it. But either way, to talk about handling and stuff. Oh, yeah. Now, these videos we're going to be doing are kind of going to be, uh, you got to watch them in order. So watch the Z video first and now come here. Yeah. Already, this car feels so Dude. much tighter, lighter. These bucket seats are insane. The steering is very, very good. Yeah. Now, one thing with this 86, I can feel maybe the back end. I don't, it's, they don't have the widest tires. Yeah. You know, so I can feel maybe a, I wouldn't say getting out a little bit, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel quite as planted as the Z. Feels a but little. But it's a wider car. Yeah, a little, I guess, more hoppy ish. Yeah, like, look, I don't want to say like tail happy. Uh, I don't know what tires are on this at the moment. It does feel very but, flat though, like there's no body roll. Yeah. But it's just really like see that. Well, it's also 30 degrees out, so we gotta go yeah. slow around some turns because yeah, uh, yeah, it's pretty freezing out. Now I wonder how this will compare though to the Miata. We'll have to get behind the wheel of the Miata and see because they're probably very similar. Yeah. As well, a passenger already, I feel really planted, yeah. and I just like how flat it is in the turns. Yeah. You can tell there's no weight to it. Yeah. Um, this road, you just don't need power, so you don't need the power. You know, you just need the handling. And uh, this is a car that I'm actually considering to buy in the next year, uh, just to have like a fun little project car here. Yeah. Uh, and really, you know, see what you could do. Maybe like supercharge it, add some power if we think we, you know, it needs it. I will say the but, power in this is so much better than the other one, the old one. Yeah. Uh, even though it's not much more, it makes such a difference. Yeah. It feels like it's just a fun little car to drive. And, uh, ooh, see that? Yeah. <laughs> Not even going, doing anything too crazy here, but I will say the automatic is pretty responsive. Yeah. For, you know, being an automatic. It's a sharp turn. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to actually give you a good one, because it sucks when you get one that's, like, slow to respond, which yeah. I'll have to do a run in this to see, but. Yeah. But I like, uh, I like the power of this so far. You know, we, we were just in the Z, so we got into uh, fourth gear maybe once or twice. Yeah. I think I went into fourth gear on this once so far, uh, but you can ring out the power. It looks like it redlines over 7,500. Yeah. Um, so you could definitely utilize all this power, especially on a road like this. Oh yeah, you're you're not needing any more power in this car. Oh no. Uh, yeah. I don't know about maybe low end power, perhaps. Yeah. We're not really testing that. Well, I guess we're kind of testing that coming out of some of these turns. Yeah. Uh, but it feels it feels adequate. It's it's definitely slower than what we're used to. Oh yeah. Um, but like, uh, it's just like a little go kart, you know. That's that's the it's biggest. So thing. tossable and fun. Yeah. The biggest you, thing you I found kind of forget so about far. That. Yeah, it's just how it's so flat. And I like there's there's <laughs> there's no body roll. Like, it's yeah, there's, really there's impressive. nothing. Really impressive. Like, you can even get on it around a turn like that. Yeah. Because it's not gonna, you know, send you off the road. Yeah. In a sense. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> How's the steering? It's so direct. Like, this is... I mean, it wants to go this way, it wants to go left. <laughs> So on to my run in the 86. Like I said, I already drove the manual and I was so impressed with how much better it was than the old car. 
I like how low this is. Like, you, do you feel it's, how like low we are? It's a very low feeling car for sure. And with the boxer engine, obviously, the, the lower uh, center of gravity is insane compared to pretty much every other sports car. Yeah. And the little steering wheel, this feels like a toy, <laughs> like such a toy. It's like a go kart. I love these things. I, I loved them when they came out as the FRS. Yeah. But I feel like it was just lacking. The GR, though, it's such an upgrade. It, it may not look like much on paper, but it is such an upgrade from the old car. I like the exterior styling, too. It looks Aside so good. from the performance, I like how it looks. It looks so good. It's definitely sluggish in the wrong gear, but if you're yeah. in the right gear, like, yeah. it's so, look at this. <laughs> you can just toss it around so incredibly well. I don't care how much money you spend on a car, like a Lamborghini even, yeah. this still is so much more tossable than something, anything bigger. Like, I feel like it could still use a little bit more power. Yeah. Uh, I don't think, Toyota didn't really do anything for that, did they? They maybe bumped it up slightly. But they gave it the bigger engine. Yeah. I, I think it could use some kind of turbo option or a little bit more power um, just to make it a little bit more adequate, I think. Yeah. But in the stock form, since of course that's what we're testing. But even in the stock form though, yeah, because it revs pretty high. Yeah. Yeah, at least it doesn't uh, short shift. It's still peppy sense. enough to where it's like, yeah, it could have had a little bit more acceleration, but yeah, you know, it's fine. Yeah. Transmission is actually pretty good. I mean, paddles are pretty responsive. The steering is my favorite. It's just so pinpointy. I like being a passenger. We got a nice grab handle in the door. You don't see too many cars that have this kind of grip for the door. Yeah. Which is nice. So I feel, I like these seats too. Very grippy. Oh, I love these seats. So they, they put in some nice characteristics for it. Yeah. It's a great little car. And like, you can have uh, maybe some people in the back. I know, a half a person. Half a person while you're doing this. Yeah. I like it a lot. I like it. I, I wish I could drive the manual to see, get a little bit more fun factor, I would say. But yeah, I think like the steering is just incredible. How light it is, how little the wheel is. Yeah. You just, oh, it's such a good little car. Really is, really is. In a but, world where everyone's craving more power. Yeah. This is so much fun. I'm on, I have, I'm having more <laughs> fun in this than the Z, I think. Because it's so much lighter and smaller. Can you feel the back end like I was mentioning earlier a little bit, like right there? Uh, let's see. Not really. I mean, it feels yeah, pretty planted. On the turns. You can just tell how it, it can kind of hop around because it's so light. Yeah. So you don't have that same like weight to stay in turn. Yeah. It, it feels like it's lighter on the back end. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is so good. And even the brakes, which are just normal brakes, yeah, like right there, you can kind of feel it just... Yeah, it's you may not feel it from this side yeah. as much. But the brakes do a really good job as well. Is that an owl? I don't know what that was. Weird. It wasn't there on our way up. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find on the road yeah. up here. Yeah, it's right now in third gear. Yeah, you gotta drop it down. Yeah, so you gotta make sure you're in the right gear. But, uh, yeah, this car is incredible. I'm excited. I think this will be a cool, a cool car to get see like that. Yeah. To get into and uh, test how much more capable it can be with some simple mods. Yeah. So it'll be cool if you get the GR86, which you would while I have the uh, Z. Yeah. Modify them together to see what you can do with 200 horsepower and 400 horsepower. Yeah. And uh, see where each car can go. Yeah. Really. This handles better for sure. Oh yeah. You just. It's We're just so, so planted to the road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have any complaints with a road like this on this car. I can't imagine how much better it would be, though, with, like, full bolt-ons. Yeah. Uh, if there is any shooting sure. to just bump it up a tad and then uh, handling in bigger wheels. Yeah, I could see uh, a little bit wider for the rear. Yeah. A little bit more power, some low-end power, really, because if you're... You're buying this car and you're doing roads like this. This is where you need that low end power. Even that, not necessarily top speed. Yeah, even that though, I'm not even full throttling it at all. Oh, I know. You have so much usable power, and yeah, we're not using all of the potential because of the speed of the road. Yeah, we're going you know? 40. Yeah. You can see the snow covered mountains over there. That's pretty legit. Wow. wow. That is incredible. 
but there's not many opportunities to floor. Like, that's full throttle right there, but yeah, yeah, yeah not not much. But yeah, you don't need it. I'm in second gear. I haven't really upshifted in a while. Man, this car is so good. It's a lot of fun. So good for what we do in our cars. Like these turns. Like see that there? Yeah. <laughs> so that was a little drift, which yeah. a combination of freezing temperatures. But it's so controlled. Skinny tires. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's not like you you got 700 horsepower to get you the rest of that yeah. spin out. You know. But like I kind of knew that was about to happen, but it was so controllable to easily yeah. not even have an issue with uh, you know spinning this car. Yeah. Yeah, this thing would be a blast to modify and stuff. You gotta get one, man. You gotta get one. Yeah. After after taking this on the dragon, you gotta get one. Guys, if this gets 200 comments of Mike uh, <laughs> telling Mike to buy one, yeah. I will make sure he buys one. I will call my Toyota dealer and get one for you <laughs> to buy. Let's make it happen. More content. Like, seriously, this thing is a blast. So that's about three quarters throttle getting up to speed in the 86. So, if I bought one, we should talk about what I should do to it. What would you do? Uh, I think I think doing basic bolt-ons would be cool, obviously, and then maybe supercharge it. Yeah. See like what what are the benefits of adding a supercharger because um, I think that would be the best option. You can't really turp you could turbo it, right? What do you think would be better well, we drove for a, a smaller one. car? I oh, that blue feel, one? Yeah, I almost feel like a supercharger would be better because it would ki give you that linear, naturally aspirated feel. Yeah. I mean, if you go turbo, it's definitely going to give you that turbo feeling where it could hit. Yeah, and see. I think this car is so good because it's, it's so smooth. Yeah. You don't want that instant yeah. turbo that could, you know, spin you out or something. True. Yeah, so I think I think a supercharged 86 with, uh, you know, exhaust, lower it a bit. Um, I think that'd be a, a good platform to see. Yeah how basically budget friendly that could be because you can get into this car under what i'd say under 35 grand maybe yeah and then you do i don't know less than 10 grand's worth of mods which is still a lot of money for a, you know a car like this but but at the um, same day if i have the z going which is already fifty five thousand dollars right how does a uh, a modded 86 compete with wow. yeah. a, a z for less money you could be 10 grand cheaper than me with let's just say 350 horsepower out of this yeah and it'd be probably pretty incredible yeah so it's a sharp turn thing. i think i think it would be a great platform yeah uh because it's already a fun car how much better can you make the 86 because it's so much lighter than a z but if you were able to add like 80 horsepower to it right and then you're gonna have some serious like acceleration for the weight of it too would yeah. probably be one of the best handling cars you could get. Yeah, and even just, I'd say a good set of coilovers probably. Yeah. yeah. Because right now, I mean, it's, I mean, it's it's slow for sure. Um, it nice, it'd be nice to have a little bit more grunt under its belt. Yeah, I feel like not that it needs it for a road like this, but as far as normal daily driving stuff, it's fun to have a faster car. Yeah. So it certainly would be uh, fun on a more personal like reasons. Right. Uh, new GR86 on the Dragon. Definitely epic car. It handles so well. I'm, like, I'm so yeah, well. I'm excited that we got to take this out on the Dragon. Yeah. Last few turns. Some people actually flew over it. Yeah, nice. that's nice. That's a sharp. Oh, wait. I know they're all sharp turns. They're all sharp turns, yeah, really? but look at this. Wow. Yeah, the handling and steering. Look at this. Look at this. Boom, boom. Hopefully, it, hopefully it, the next car we're in is the Miata. Yeah. Uh, we'll that was a, behind us. Yeah, we'll have a video on that when we get to it. Yeah. That's going to be interesting because I feel like this is so flat and like stiff with no body roll. Yeah. Plus we have a manual in the Miata. So yeah. we can kind of see what this would almost be like. Yeah, that will be interesting. In a sense. Look at that. That's almost full throttle. <laughs> Third gear. That? Coming up to a... A big one. What you would want to drift maybe. Yeah. There we go. So like if I got in it more, we'd probably kick out a little bit going yeah. downhill on that turn. I feel like, yeah, this supercharged would be incredible. While that wouldn't give you as much power as a turbo, yeah, I think it would just be better for what it is. Brakes do a good job. Yeah. So that's almost flat out. 
kind of short shifting a little bit, but yeah, it's crazy yeah. on this road, like <laughs> straight away, and then it's like crazy sharp turns. There's not a whole lot of straights. All right, so ending thoughts on the GR86 is you. This is your first time driving one. You're driving on the track. Like what the heck? I know, right? How cool is that experience? Uh, I definitely like it. I'm digging it. Uh, the power is just not there for us. Yeah. But I could see this being. It's it's an excellent car all around. Uh, aside from maybe some engine mods to make it a little bit more responsive, a little bit quicker. Yeah. Uh, but I really don't have any complaints with this car. This is a perfect sports car. It's a good entry level sports car, but at the same time, you yeah. know, like a professional sports car enthusiast, like yeah, uh, this is something fun. So it's a uh, it, it's a nice car. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got some tech features in it too. Uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up for our GR86 experience on the Dragon. Heck of a car. Maybe you guys will see one next year sometime. 200 comments, guys. <laughs> 200 comments. It'll happen. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll start modding an 86 and have some fun with it. Yeah. But uh, that is the second car for the Dragon. Be sure to check out the Z and then whatever cars we have coming next. If you enjoyed the video, give it a huge thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button for more Dragon content as well as our daily uploads. And we'll slow down here because we have a straightaway to do a straight line acceleration. Pedal to the floor. Pedal to the floor. Still pedal to the floor. <laughs> yeah, let's see how much quicker we can get that. Hopefully next year. Yeah, you gotta get one. We'll see you guys in the next video.